Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin and this is everything with Caitlin. So you're probably like, oh God, here she comes again, coloring her hair. And you know what? I don't care. My hair's already getting yellowy, so I'm gonna have to apply some toner. And I'm gonna show you guys how I apply toner on my hair. I don't want yellow blonde, I wanna have white, like a platinum type of, or ashy vibe. So, um, I went to Sally's Beauty and I picked these two up. So these are basically toners for your hair. It just makes your hair ashier. So they have like different colors. Uh, I think they have like, I think they have like five or six colors. I got the T18. I got two, hopefully that's enough. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. But yeah, I need to tone this hair down. As you guys know, I did, I was using a purple shampoo. And even though yes, it would tone down my hair, it wouldn't tone it down to the way that I would actually want it. So I was like, you know what? I'm tired of waiting. So I was like, I'ma just buy the toner and I'm gonna tone my hair. It look good on her dress, trying to be slim thick, nothing less, but she's falling. Before you start the process, you want to have your hair damp. Um, try not to make it wet because then if you make it too wet, the toner is going to slide off and not apply on the hair. Also, you want to make sure that it's not too dry because then the hair is not going to... Your hair is not going to take in the toner. So for every bottle that you use um, in your mixture, you're going to want to put 2.8 fluid ounces of developer. The recommended level to, for a toner is 20. If you want to go higher, you can. Uh, I personally don't want to go higher just because when I bleached my hair, I already did a 40 developer and I just, I don't want to put so much damage onto my hair. So I'm going to just stick, stick with the 20. And since I'm putting two of these, I'm going to have to put 5.6 fluid ounces of developer. After the 30 minutes are up, I'm just let it go. I use the shampoo, which has no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens, which is great for curly hair. Then I follow up with this NYC purple shampoo. This is to tone down the hair, the color of the hair. And then I use this Curl Essence Moisturizing Co Wash. I love this Co Wash. Um, this is basically just to clean my scalp or whatever. Um, definitely recommend it because this is like the only Co Wash that I found that actually is moisturizing and leaves my hair soft. After the mask, it feels much more soft and nicer. So now I'm just gonna style my hair like I usually do, diffuse, and then I'm gonna show you guys what the results look like when my hair is dried. All right, so these are my results, guys. I am in love. I am in love. Um, I mean, there is a little problem, but I'm gonna just leave it like that for now. Um, I feel like the ends are more gray and then the top is more like of the white that I wanted 
I mean, for now, I'm just gonna, you know, settle for what I have because, like, it is what it is. But I am definitely in love with the color that I have now. Like, it's not looking yellow or brassy. Like, it's looking, it's looking like the color I wanted. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye.